Good afternoon. It is May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo. Celebrate, right? But interestingly enough, we didn't have somebody with a Spanish or Latina background today. We got a little Italian girl. <laughs> with us today is Jennifer Travato. I'm Sharon Howard, and Jennifer and I will be having a conversation. And as usual in the background, our producer, and many other things, Jane Devin Smith. Drew's on camera today. Yes, so John is off taking care of town meeting. Jennifer, as you may or may not know, is the human resources director, administrator? Manager. Ma <laughs> That's even worse, by the way. Administrators <laughs> have more power, administrators, than managers. <laughs> I don't want too much power. <laughs> The position here in Hadley is relatively new, and Jennifer is even more relatively new. So can you give us a little history about the human relations position? Yeah, Hadley actually has never had a human resources department until recently, until 2019. Uh, a consultant came in and helped the town and suggested that it was a position that would be useful, and the town decided to take that recommendation hired someone. Uh, they stayed about a year, but uh, moved on to other things. And then there was a little bit of a hole. Uh, so they had someone come in and do some part-time work during the pandemic. And now here I am. Human resources. Human resources. I uh, misspoke and called it human relations, but I'm not sure it's too far off, is it, to be described that way? No, it's not too far off at all. <laughs> what did they tell you when you interviewed for the job? What was the job going to be? So what the town is really looking for is someone that can really be a bridge and, you know, a go-between between employees and the town and management and really help facilitate kind of employee relations. The town needs help with hiring and all different departments and updating the handbook and you know negotiating with the unions so it's kind of a catch-all position where i can take things off of the plates of other departments so they can really focus on what they're here to do and i can kind of collect all of those tasks and a lot of the dealing with the laws and the regulations and make sure that we're actually following all of this it's a plateful <laughs> yes what makes you think you can handle it I mean why in the world would you say yes Hadley I'll do that I love a job where I can do something different every day mm -hmm. and where you never know what's gonna come onto your plate and what you have to kind of jump to in that day and then there's always things in the background that need to get done updating job descriptions and you know being there as a mentor or even just as a go-between if there's a conflict and mm -hmm. it's really what I like doing great you mentioned several categories, and I want to go back and talk about each of those perhaps a little bit. And the first is the number of employees that Hadley has. I was astounded. So how many employees are in Hadley? Well, Hadley's interesting, too, because there are a lot of volunteers that are working for the town. And there's people that are appointed. There's people that are elected. If there's just, and there's the union employees versus the non-union employees. And if you include the school as well, I mean, you're getting up to about 500 employees. Whoa, whoa. Um, the school does handle their own human resources. We just kind of coordinate and help them with payroll and benefits. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the town actually is pretty large. You know? I'm impressed. Well, it's a town of... What five thousand plus? So ten percent of it works. For Volunteers, the town. elected, appointed, school. Mm -hmm. Wow. And from what I can tell, in my five weeks that I've been here, uh, people really take a lot of pride in the town, and they want to see the town succeed. And there's a lot of people that live in the town that are working for the town, and that have for years, and they plan on continuing to do that. You uh, address an issue that I think uh, we've talked about in other interviews, and that is the business of being able to live in Hadley and work in Hadley. That's something of a conundrum, isn't it? The problem? Yeah, and a lot of people have worked here for so long that a big task for human resources is gonna be figuring out what to do when people are gonna start retiring and filling these positions and you know, making sure that we have accurate job descriptions and we know what people are doing. Cause mm -hmm. There's employees that have just taken on things over the years because they, they want to and mm -hmm. they're good at their jobs, but getting someone new in to fill those shoes is gonna be really hard, especially for you know trying to make sure we can pay enough and that 
we're offering a, a work environment that people want. So far, so good. And what your job partially is, is to let that continue. Yeah. Which leads us, I think, again, back to the handbook. So do we have a handbook in Hadney? There is a current handbook. Uh, it was a little old and you know needed some updating. A lot of even laws have changed, federal, state, local. And we just want to make sure that the policies are fair for employees and for the town and just kind of update everything. So before I came on, a group of employees had gotten together and were working on some updates. And I got to jump in near the end and mm -hmm. help them out, do some editing. And now I get to bring it to you know, the town administrator and the select board, and we can actually come together and make it happen. What's in a handbook? A lot of policies, you know, okay. on pay and fair treatment, harassment. You want to make sure everyone's very clear on what they're allowed to do, you know, mm -hmm. even a uniform and, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we want to make sure it's fair. We have a lot of unions, you know, between the DPW and the police and dispatch, and we want to make sure the other employees feel like they also have a voice in uh -huh. their job and in the community. And You have three major departments that have unions, dispatch, police, and the DPW. And the DPW which must leave an awful lot of non-unionized people in the town. Is there any stirring, any bubbling that says, gee, I'm a fireman, I want to be part of a union? Are you hearing anything like that in Hadley? Uh, not officially, but part of the reason for doing this handbook was be to make sure these employees don't feel like they need a union. You know, mm. A lot of people feel like they would like to be involved with a union because they feel like they will be treated better and mm -hmm. that they can, you know, get more out of, of the job and kind of have someone that has their back. And between human resources and this handbook, we're hoping that these non-union employees do feel like someone is there for them and that, you know, they have rights and that it's well known. I'm feeling a little like having some fun. Drew's over there behind the camera. Are you unionized, Drew? I'm not. Do you have any desire to be in a union? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get an honest uh, <laughs> yeah. interview here. I have no comment. <laughs> I think Drew he belongs in the federal government, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> Drew was on the committee that worked on the handbook update. Ah. I don't know what that means, but I hear what you said. <laughs> what does that mean, Jane? <laughs> okay, um, let's talk then about structure, since we got shut right down there by Drew. Smart man. Uh, <laughs> and he is smiling. Those of you who cannot see his face. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the hierarchy here. Who's you on your level and did you work with most? Who's above you? How's that go? So I report to the town administrator and Actually, my office abuts with um, the payroll and benefits coordinator's office, and we really work hand in hand. She, Joan, she's been wonderful. She's really been helping to onboard me and get me Joan? up to speed. Yes. Joan who? Joan Zusko. Zusko. <laughs> want to pronounce been that Been right? working with her long, have you? <laughs> A lot of the last names here. I want to make sure I pronounce them correctly. <laughs> well, I want you to pronounce for me our fire chief. I never can get him. <laughs> and his wife and I've interviewed both of them and they both graciously pronounced their last name you know who I'm talking about I do can you pronounce it hey you're not getting me on film pronouncing anyone's name wrong <laughs> yes yeah which is why I tease you a little bit about it being a little Italian girl and what is a very Polish uh, yes. culture here <laughs> it's cute okay so you report to Carolyn Brennan yes. the town administrator is there anyone else above you? Well, yes, the select board. Select board is above all. Yeah. Select board is God, isn't it? <laughs> oh, got it. Okay, and who do you work with besides Joan Zusko on payroll? She's the person I work the most directly with, but I really try to coordinate and work with all the different department heads, you know, because the fire chief, the police chief, you know, the DPW, they all have hiring needs and they all have questions about you know, any laws or any policies that are going on. And it's my job mm -hmm. to coordinate with them and be a second set of eyes and a second set of ears and mm -hmm. give them that other opinion. Tell me a little bit about departments. Uh, you mentioned DPW, fire, police, mm -hmm. uh, dispatch, I assume. Yep. Other departments. 
Is payroll a department, for payroll example? Payroll is a department. You know, and downstairs we have the, you know, the town clerk, and we have all the different offices in town hall. Uh, we have over here at the senior center. There's the library. So we even have a few different buildings going mm -hmm. on. Okay. So there's over twenty departments wow. all together. I was not aware again, which is my wow, like 350, 500 employees, my goodness. Fortunately, you don't have to deal with the school, though, right? Right. So tell us about the picnic table. <laughs> <laughs> One of the first things I did at the job. Uh, I'm someone that likes to be outside a lot, and I realized there was no really good place to eat lunch outside at Town Hall. and. Especially with COVID, I feel like everyone got really used to being alone in their office and feeling kind of isolated. Yes. And I thought it would be really nice if we had a place we could sit outside on a day like today and enjoy the weather. And the DPW was nice enough to find an old picnic table that wasn't being used and put it outside for us. Terrific. So you're working on those things that are important to you. <laughs> yes. Well, I wasn't thinking about the food, Jen. I was thinking about a place to gather. Yeah. The kind of relationships that develop when you're having lunch together. It's really important those times, the little downtime in your day when mm -hmm. you can connect with people that you work with and just kind of see them as another human, not just someone you're shooting emails off to. <laughs> yes. I think that's really important for everyone. Um... Something else I saw that I wanted to talk to you before I came. Ah. Do you write grants? I do not. I mean, I could. There are some smaller grants. You know, our health insurance company likes to provide grants so that you can do things for your employees. And mm -hmm. there's little things. So Joan and I will be working together on that. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone in the town structure that is a not even a full-time, but part-time grant writer? That I'm not sure about. I just wonder because, uh, you know, there's so many possibilities. And I wondered about the consultant coming in and saying, gee, a human resource person would be nice, but looking for grants would help with the whole budget thing, I would imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anything we can do to help the budget. <laughs> <laughs> Got it tonight, town meeting. Yes. <laughs> um, mentoring, you said. How does that work for you? I mean, I know you're five weeks on the job, but do, are there interns, are there volunteers, are there just, when you say mentoring, are you thinking of the town employees? How does that relate to your work? Well, really, there's a lot of employees that would like to be able to move up in their career, and you know, specifically I'm thinking of the DPW, where we like to promote from within if we have job openings, and we want to retain the people we have and keep them happy. And if I can be a bridge to help people get the training they need and find, mm -hmm different ways for them to get new licenses or anything else that will help them and make them want to stay with us. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something Excellent. that I'd love to do. Yeah. So talk about, talk about who you are that brought you to this point in your own career development. Uh, most of my career has been working in restaurants, actually, and okay. not for a town. And mm -hmm. What I realized was that I really loved the team building and I liked hiring and building a group that can work together and I don't like the discipline aspect of it, but I do feel like I am really good at that and mm -hmm. I think that I am fair and firm and you know I'm good at letting people know ahead of time what is what's coming and what's going on. And I realized that I could translate that into getting out of the nights and weekends of a restaurant and... A nine to five job? Yeah. <laughs> it's weird having weekends, I'm not used to it yet. <laughs> what do you do on your weekends? Well, I spend a lot of time uh, gardening. I'm not very good at it, but... Are we talking vegetables, flowers, both? Both. Okay. Um, I'm new to it, but I'm really enjoying that. I spend a lot of time with my dog, Roscoe, uh, and I'm a big cook. I like to bake and cook, so I do a lot of that in my free time. Uh-huh. Are, are we benefiting from that here in, in that Hadley? You will be. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I brought cupcakes once, but I'll, I'll keep going. All right. Going. <laughs> um, where do you live? I live in Northampton. I own a house downtown. Uh -huh. You have a downtown house in Northampton. You live with others? Do you have family? Yes, I do. I live with my partner, Jason, and uh -huh. our dog. So. Jason and Roscoe. Yep. <laughs> Good. Where'd you grow up? I grew up down in Plymouth, on the other end of the state. Mm -hmm. 
stepped on the rock, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Family from <laughs> the old country? Good. And then after you grew up in Plymouth, you went to school? I did. I actually graduated with my undergrad from UMass Amherst back in 2004. And then I went to Bay Path and got my master's. You came west and discovered that this was the part of Massachusetts that was the part, right? Yes. <laughs> smart woman. Smart woman. <laughs> the ocean was nice. I do, I do like oh, going goodness. down there to visit my mother in the summer, but I really like it out here in the valley, and I don't see myself leaving. So many of us came to UMass and never left. Yeah. yeah. It's easy to fall in love with the area. Yeah, it is. Uh, what's your Bay Path degree in? Uh, I have my MBA, so my master's in business, yep. and I really focused on the human resources aspect of that when I was when I was in school. So how did you uh, connect to the restaurant businesses that you said you'd been a part of? Well, I finished my undergrad and got a job working for the state, actually, um, using my psychology degree, and quickly realized I wasn't making enough money uh, <laughs> to support myself, <laughs> and got a part-time job working in a restaurant where I very quickly fell in love with it and the fast-paced wow. nature of the work, and I like that you can deal with the public and with the employees and with vendors, and it just really it kept me busy and on mm -hmm. my feet, and I really enjoyed it and worked my way up until I was a general manager. And, and where were you general manager? Any place we would know? Uh, I actually started my restaurant career at the Applebee's right in Hadley, oh, uh, okay. way back in 2004. But I <laughs> um, worked for Applebee's for a long time in Springfield and in Chicopee. And then I took over as the general manager of Roberta's in Northampton mm -hmm. years ago mm -hmm. and ran that for the last eight years. Eight years at Roberta's. You see a job posting for human resources in Hadley? You must have been looking. I was. Uh, the owners were, of Roberta's were very supportive when I told them that I wanted to get out of the industry. And if not, I would have stayed with them forever. They were amazing. But the That's nights and weekends are really tough. And, yeah. You know, as I get a little older, being on your feet all the time and running around makes it harder to want to do things in mm -hmm. your free time. Mm -hmm. So they were very supportive of me and helped me look and offered to look at my resume, and they wow. were just very supportive. So. That's really nice. Yeah. Saw this, said this is what I want to do at this point in my life. I thought it would be a good fit. I love the area and the town, and I, yeah, I just decided might as this well is, go for this it. This is it? Yeah, this is it. <laughs> That's lovely. <laughs> Is there anything about your um, experience so far that has highlighted that you made the right decision? Yes, actually. Uh, one, of share things, that? one of the things <laughs> I've noticed is really just how long everyone who's worked here, everyone that I've met is happy, likes their job, is working really hard. I mean, you can tell everyone really cares about the town. And when I went around on my first day and asked everyone how long they've been here, it was either 30 years, 35 years, they can't even remember when, or within five years, but they were really taking over a job for someone that had retired and had been there for 35, 30 40 35 years. years. <laughs> so it seems like there's not a lot of turnover in that aspect, and then mm -hmm. people are really passionate about making this town great, and you know, there's a really good culture already here. This wasn't coming into a job that needs a lot of fixing. You know, mm -hmm. it was coming into something that hopefully I can just help continue and make it better. Have you found a spot where your desire to do team building can be used? Has that come up yet? I wish I had come in a little earlier into the handbook making process because that's the kind of thing I really enjoy. And Drew's nodding his head over there. And <laughs> I'm looking forward to doing more of that. I know we have a handbook that's for volunteers and for people that are on committees, and that needs some updating. And I'm really excited to get to like make some teams. And so how Just far along are you in the whole building the handbook, rebuilding, updating the well, handbooks? Well, the employees did most of the hard work already, and mm -hmm. right now I'm doing a lot of editing and formatting, and just making sure it looks presentable and is in the right order. Uh -huh. uh, and then Carolyn and I have a meeting next week to sit down and go over it and see what she thinks and if there needs to be any edits, and then hopefully we can bring it to the select board. So the next step for the handbook is to the select board, mm -hmm. and hopefully they say, gee, this is wonderful, and then what happens? It's printed? Yeah, if we can put it on the website, we can print it up. We're hopefully going to get to meet with most of the employees and let them read it over and mm -hmm. see what they think. And 
So in your eight hour day right now, five weeks, 25 days, how have you been spending your time mostly? Well, the handbook has taken up a good chunk of that. I would actually. imagine, yes. Uh, also trying to make sure that we have updated job descriptions for every position mm -hmm. and kind of organize that because we want to make sure that we know what we're looking for because we're doing a lot of hiring as well. So Are the we? DPW says that they need some assistance. It's hard to make a job posting when I'm not really sure what we're really looking for. What the job and when is. not something really already on paper and written down. Or there is, but it was updated in 1997. So Ooh. we just want to make sure everything's accurate. And yeah. <laughs> So you're looking for DPW right now? We are. Out there in the world. Looking, what else are you looking for? We're looking for a lot of DPW. <coughs> uh, the dispatchers are actually looking for some part-time help as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we did post that job and have got a lot of positive feedback and okay. applicants. So mm -hmm. hopefully we'll have some new dispatchers coming on. And Will you be part of the interview process? Yes. Every interview? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. You know, and I want to be able to be that person for all the different departments because when you need to hire people, that usually means you're a little probably overworked anyway because mm -hmm. you're trying to cover for some missing holes there. And if I can be the one to post these jobs and if I can do some initial screenings and then just send applicants to the department heads, that'll cut down on some of the busy work for them. Yes. So in a lot of ways, you're a support person, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You're not out there heading the pack so much. Maybe that's what managing hopefully is about. Yeah. Fill whatever hole needs to be filled. Every Here day I am. Yep. <laughs> what do you need? <laughs> I love it. Let me check in here with Jane and Drew because I don't know if we've talked about anything that sparked any questions from you all, but if you have, this is the moment. And for you to think, is there anything that you want to make sure is on the town website. Jane, anything from the... He's very eloquent and has said everything clearly. <laughs> and clearly, huh? clearly, good. Drew, how about you? You're a major part of the town. Well, that's very kind of you to say so. Um, I'm a big fan of our new <laughs> HR director. Thank you. So, Kudos, huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm just, I feel that I'm very fortunate to have the job I have. I love doing what I do. Uh -huh. And uh, Jen was speaking to this sense that we have among the other employees. And I, I think it's palpable. You can mm -hmm. sense it. Lovely. What makes you want to work here? How about from you, kid? <laughs> <laughs> hey, at my age, everybody Everyone's is. A kid. <laughs> I really wanted to be a part of something that was doing good for people and you know I could have looked for jobs working for a company and you know you're helping their bottom line or you hope they don't go out of business but this is a town and you know the town is going to be here and the town isn't going anywhere and I think there's something really great about getting to be a part of that and mm -hmm. be a part of that history. Wow that's lovely and history is Hadley. Uh-oh Drew t left us. I think we're done. I think we're done. Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry, I know I'm a short speaker. I'm not very long-winded. No, that's good. I told you, somewhere <laughs> half hour, 45 minutes, you're right on, on the money. Thank you. Uh, Drew, appreciate it. Appreciate you being a part of it. Always a pleasure. <laughs>